Hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan Delight and today I'm bringing you a Road to the Knockout Stephen Bergewine EAFC 24 Player Review. 84 rated left winger, 5 foot 10, medium low on the work rates, 4 star skill moves, only a 2 star weak foot there, right footed and controlled on the acceleration type. It is a shame that he's only got that 2 star weak foot that it does kind of make the card a little bit difficult to use but hopefully his shooting will be good enough to um, to help that out left wing left mid and right wing as far as alternative positions go so a nice range 88 pace really really good with 90 acceleration 88 sprint speed or sorry 86 sprint speed even and out for 88 pace 83 shooting he's got 91 shot power 83 attack positioning 81 finishing 85 long shots as well um, 80 passing with 83 short pass which is nice 87 for the dribbling 83 agility 95 balance 87 ball control 89 dribbling the standouts there 47 defending 67 head and accuracy is probably the only one that really matters for an attacking player don't really matter about the others there um, and then a 77 physical with 84 strength it is just the aggression that's bringing that down so that number will feel a little bit better than that i'm sure Around a decent card, pace and dribbling, of course, being the highlight, which is what you want for a winger. So, not bad at all. He's got three play styles, um, those being the technical play style, flair, and uh, the Travella. Let's get into some gameplay with him. All right, so 2-2. Two, two. Um, if you saw the last Dynamic Duo video, you'll know that we was uh, it was all over him like a rash in that first half, but somehow he's pulled it back. We've got a penalty here, um, which is quite nice. Um, so we're going to get Jeffinho on the pen and um, see what he can do. So he puts it straight down the middle and we make it 3-2, which is exactly what we're wanting, to be honest. Um, there's Henrique on the ball, Bergewijn and Bruno G. So... Um, yeah, Jaffino is very fast. Enrique, what a pass that is through to him. Look at that through Making ball, straight through to him. Here. Rapid, rapid, but that first touch let him down. But we have another penalty, which is Blocking quite strange, um, I must admit. But we get Jaffino on it, and he actually misses this one, um, unfortunately. While well, the keeper saves, a good save, um, to be fair. But I mean, his keeper's been making good saves the whole game. We've literally, um, if you, again, if you saw the first dynamic duo video, you'll know that. Um, but yeah, let's see. Uh, hopefully, we can get some of the players involved here. Um, there's Jaffino again. He seems to be very involved. Um, not oh, Mallard, you know, I packed her. I'm just trying her out, see what she's like. She hasn't been great for me, to be honest, so far. Um, but this is coming up to Henrique's side. Here he is. Let's see what he's got. Um, decent enough pace. Keeping up with Anthony. Anthony's a fast card. Um, I pulled him out a little bit too much there. But we've done the job. Bellerin. Come on, Bellas. Let's see. Arsenal, vintage Arsenal. There we go. Go on, mate. He's got the pace still. <laughs> He's a little bit slower than what he used to be. I remember on some of the old FIFAs, he had like 93, 94 pace rapid. But he's making a good run along the side there. Cross this in, boy. And we get the header there through Bergewijn. What a goal that is. I mean, really created by Bellerin. He won the ball back up there, made the fantastic run back again, and then crossed it in nicely for Bergewijn, who hasn't got the best heading stats, but somehow still managed to, to get the header away there very nicely. Great from Diario Carlos. He has been an absolute rock for me in this game. Um, but Bergewijn again, unfortunately couldn't quite get the pass away there. Um, close, but no cigar. Let's see, I mean, it's Darwin Nunes, it's ridiculous, Anthony. but Henrique, what a Another tackle that is, getting his foot in um, against Anthony, and unfortunately he did kind of give it back to him, um, which I guess Nunes. wasn't really his fault, it was a poor pass for me to make, so I'm not going to blame him too much, but yeah, um, really, really Nunes. solid at least to actually win the ball back. 4-2 is a great result, I'm very happy so far, Bergewijn again, oh, almost such a good pass, he was putting Jeffrino through there, very, very... Um, close to doing so. Darwin is away and Darwin's probably going to score from here. Nope, Flecken with a great save which is um, exactly what we're wanting. Uh, I mean he, he saves it, uh, scores it in the end anyway. Um, but yeah, 4-3. What a game this is turning into. Um, this guy's goalkeeper has just done my head in this game, not going to lie. Especially uh, in the first half, his goalkeeper was ridiculous. We could have had a handful of goals through uh, Bergewijn, um, but it wasn't to be. Right, there we go, Bellerin, let's see what he's got, I mean he, he's fantastic, oh, just as I say that, he does that, um, but Henrique here, a good pass, Steven decent Bergwijn. enough pass, Bergewijn to Jeffino, poor, poor touch, I don't know what that was all about, but his dribbling is fantastic, um, I mean look at that, uh, but yeah, I mean we'll leave the, uh, the gameplay section there, um, We'll get back into the in-game stats, see how we get on with the other few games that we play with them, and then I'll give my overall verdict on whether I think you should be doing these cards and if they're worth, uh, worth your using them.
All right, so you saw him in action there. I played a few more games with him. Overall, really, really quite good. Um, to be honest, for the actual squads that you're, you're submitting for him, a very good player. 88 pace, definitely felt like 88 pace. He felt really quick. That was definitely the standout uh, stat for me. 83 shooting, yeah, I think that probably is about fair as well. Of course, this guy can get increases as well um, if I actually do well in the uh, in the Europa. 83 shooting feels about right. 80 passing feels harsh. I think his passing was actually better than that. I remember he was passing up to an 82. 87 dribbling felt probably about right as well really really solid dribbling one of the better dribblers that i've used on eafc 24 so far 47 defending fine he's an attacking player we do not need to worry about the defending anyway and then 77 physical i'm actually going to increase that i thought i would anyway um due to the fact that his you know his strength is the highest there and the strength for me for physical is the most important that's what i think of when i think physical and um, so i'm going to bring the physical up to an 81 which is quite a big increase to be honest remember of course this guy can get increases as well at the moment i would say do this squad builder challenge you might not be able to get him into your squad yet because Ajax and Netherlands is quite difficult unless you're building literally a, a sort of never Dutch league team it might be quite difficult to get him into your team but it's definitely an investment to make because I think this card could be insane that pace can get some nice increases and a little bit more on that shooting this card would be really nice so hopefully you did like the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more videos like this there will be a link in the description down below full of EAFC 24 player reviews as always guys thank you for watching bye bye